On Saturday, May 25th, we started our day early, leaving the Hampton Inn on our way to visit the Gateway Arch. Abigail wanted to pose with the fire escape on another building, which she called a monkey ladder because she saw it in a Curious George book. Because the arch was only a few blocks from the hotel, we decided to walk there. The visitor center and a museum is located directly below the arch. We went inside, worked on some junior ranger programs, and looked at a few exhibits. When the time came to go ride the trams to the top of the arch, we descended some stairs. We were surprised to realize that we would be traveling in these metal boxes. Some described it as similar to riding in a clown car, a dryer, a spaceship, or a sepulcher. Descriptions aside, the approximately four mile per hour ride to the top was thoroughly enjoyable. When we arrived at the top of the arch, we were about 600 feet above ground level. The views of both the city and the river were gorgeous. Though the windows were relatively small, they afforded good panoramic views. In fact, when this was built, 500 tons of pressure was used to jack apart the north and south legs of the arch to put in the last four foot section. If the windows had been any larger, they would have shattered under that pressure. After taking a somewhat faster tram ride to the bottom of the arch, we explored the Museum of Westward Expansion. Lewis and Clark actually ventured westward of the Louisiana Purchase, going all the way to the Pacific. This brought them into disputed territory, some of which was owned by the Spanish. The Spanish actually sent a force to try to arrest them in the expedition, but never made it close enough to do so. The Nez Perce Indians began breeding horses in the mid-1700s. They bred the famous spotted Appaloosa horse. We saw cowboy gear, a stuffed longhorn, and countless other items throughout the museum. Soon, it was time for us to head west. Shortly after leaving St. Louis, we stopped at a jack-in-the-box, a restaurant which few of us had ever heard of. More travel brought us across the Kansas state line. We enjoyed the scenery thoroughly, passing little towns, farms, and back roads. A little online research brought us to a great place to eat dinner. M&R Grill is the first barbecue restaurant I've been to that provides you with the salad first. But the happy chicken and steak were all tasty. The grill had decorations like trucks and a wall made of bottle tops. Before long, we found ourselves at our hotel. A few of us jumped in the pool to cool off, but we found that sleep was calling us. Thus ended our day of travel. Stay tuned for more updates by looking at onthecookiecounter.blogspot.com.